Hello, it's me again. Part two of Keto Chow. I thought I would show you how I mix up a Keto Chow. So inside your cup, you got one of these little things that helps mix it all up. Start with the heavy cream. That's what I use. I got Kroger brand this time because Kroger didn't have anything else except for Kroger brand. So I got Kroger brand. Okay. Do you measure? You probably should. I don't measure. Let's go. Can you see it? Oh. That might be too much. It's okay. It's fine. Okay, after you put your fat source in, if you don't want heavy cream, you're shaking it to the bottom. You could use melted butter or like avocado oil. I put a little olive oil in some of them. The ones I make with butter, I, oh man. Anyway, the ones I make with the, the olive oil and the butter, just they're not as thick and creamy as with heavy, heavy cream. So, fat source, the stuff. Oh, it's like blue. And then you always gotta like, oh man. And then put some water in there. It's like the booberry cereal, remember that? Which is my favorite of all the monster cereals, which I do not have anymore because I'm keto and those are not keto, but the booberry rocks. <laughs> anyway, so stick it on there real tight. Hold it, shake it up. Shake it up real good. You can even do that for however long you need to. And then there's a little bit on the lid. Oh my gosh. So it's going to be best if you let it chill in the fridge. This one might last 30 minutes in the fridge. I think we're shook up enough. Where are we gonna go? There. Yeah, I'm coming for that one later. So that is all for now. Quick video. I need to make another one for my coffee in the morning um, because it's night right now. And I am, so I'll pick one of those and I'll make, I'll make a few more just to have them on hand, okay? All right, thanks. Do all the things.